Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video we will be making part 10 of my Enigma blanket design. In part 10 we're making this, this band here with these uh, floral flower buds and these cross stitches. This we'll be making on both sides of the blanket. Now let's get started on the next few rows. Row 16, new color yarn on my hook. And we're going to start in the first stitch with a standing double crochet. So I'm just going to yarn over and hold on to that loop. And this first stitch is a half double, so that can be a little hard to get in. But here's the loop, just underneath there, just next to the slip knot. There, in that first stitch. Just want to be on the other side of the slip knot. So this first stitch is a little fiddly. There we go. So that in the first stitch, a double. And now it's easier. The next one is just a double in the next stitch. So in the first two stitches, it's a double. And now we're going to start working cross stitches. And you're going to do that until you're to the end. You'll have two stitches left. Now, to do the cross stitch, yarn over because we're going to do doubles. I'm going to skip the next stitch and then come to the stitch after and work a double. So that's one. I'm going to work two more. The next stitch is two and then the next stitch is three. So three doubles. I'm now going to come back and work a double in that skipped stitch and by do so we're going to cross Make a crossbar over these stitches. It's important to, to not pull too tight because then you don't see the stitches. But I'm going to yarn over, I'll show you what I mean. Then from the front, so kind of like come back, twist your hand a little bit, insert into that stitch, grab the yarn from the back, bring it forward, and now extend this loop. So really bring it up to where you currently are. So bring that, by making this loop long enough you're, you're not scrunching these stitches together. And now complete the double. So one, and two. And that's a cross stitch made. I'm going to be doing a lot of these, 40, 45, and that will bring you to the other side. I'll show you the next cross stitch as well. So yarn over, skip the next stitch, and then work the first of three. So one and then two more. This is two and three. Three doubles. Now we're going to come over and work a double in that stitch that we skipped. So yarn over, again kind of twisting from front to back, and from the back grab the yarn and bring this up to where you're currently at and then complete the double. So really give these, pull up these loops so that this, these, um, these stitches don't scrunch in together. If no work two, you need to work 43 more and that will bring you to the other side. Then I'll just see you for the last few stitches. When you're almost to the other side, you've worked all these cross stitches and you should have two stitches left. Those two stitches, they get a double crochet. So just like on the beginning, you started with two doubles, so you're also going to finish with two doubles. One and two. At this point, you can fasten off your yarn and also turn to have the wrong side facing. Row 17, at this point you have the wrong side facing, that's important, and in your color yarn on my hook. We're going to start by, in the first stitch, with a standing single crochet. In the first stitch, so one, and also make a single in the next stitch. So in the first two stitches, a single crochet. I'm going to start a repeat. So chain four, one, two, three, four. 
I'm going to skip this cross stitch and kind of come to the space in between the two and work a single crochet in here. So in this space, work a single. And this you're going to repeat 44 times. So chain four and then a single in the gap. It's not in a stitch or anything, that single crochet, so chain four, and then here just in the gap, work a single. And you're going to repeat this until you're almost to the other side. And then I'll see you back. So it's 44 times. You'll have one cross stitch left on the other side, and then I'll see you back. This should be a nice quick round. I've done that repeat 44 times. At this point you have here one cross stitch left and those two doubles at the end. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to skip this cross stitch and come to those last two doubles and work a single crochet on each of those. That's one, two. So that completes um, row 17. Turn your work and leave your yarn attached for the next row. Row 18, you have the right side facing and we're going to continue with the same color. I'm going to work a double crochet on the first two stitches. Now the first one is just chain three. One, two, three. So this chain three counts as your first double and then come to the next stitch and work a double crochet on there. Two. So that's two doubles. You're now going to come to the chain spaces and in every chain space work four doubles. So in this chain space work four doubles. So one, two, three, and then skip the single crochet and come to the next chain space and work four doubles in there. And you're going to continue this until you're well, basically to the other side. I'll see you back when you've got one chain space left. So repeat this again 44 times. I'm almost to the other side. I've worked four doubles in all those chain spaces. At this point I have one chain space left and that last chain space also gets four doubles so we're still skipping that single and then here four doubles. One, two, three, and four. Now you have two single crochets left those last two stitches get a double. So that's one and this is two. And there we go. At this point you can cut your yarn and fasten off and leave the right side facing. Row 19, the right side facing. I'm going to start in the first stitch with a standing single crochet. Now that first stitch is a chain three, but that doesn't matter. So here in the top of the chain three, work a single crochet in there. And there we go. And now on the next five stitches, also work a single. That's one, two, Three, four, five. There we go. Five. So that's six single crochets in total. Now we're going to start the repeat unit. Now we're going to work a front post treble around this single crochet here that we skipped. So yarn over twice. And then that basically just means scooping around this stitch. And then we complete the front post treble. Two, three. Skipping the next stitch, so 
So here you've got these four doubles, so we're going to skip the first one and then on numbers two, three and four work a single. So that's one, two, three singles. Now that's the repeat, you're going to do that 44 times. So I'll show you again. Yarn over twice for the treble. Then scoop that stitch, complete the treble. Three times yarn over. Skip the next stitch. And then that's one, two, three single crochets. So I've now done the repeat twice, going to do a lot more and then I'll see you when you're on the other side for the last few stitches. I'm almost to the end of the row. I'm going to do the repeat one more time. So yarn over twice. In the front post treble around that single from two rows down. Skip one stitch. Work one two, three singles and at this point you have two stitches left those last two doubles they get a single as well so that's one and two there we go. At this point you can cut your yarn, fasten off and then turn to have the wrong side facing. Row 20, important to have the wrong side facing because we're going to be making um, bobbles or clusters and otherwise they pop the wrong way. In this row we're only going to be working in the front post treble so to, like just flip your work over if you're not sure where those front post trebles are but here's the first one so that's in this stitch here that, that's where we're going to work the first one so I'm going to work a five double crochet cluster in there and that's in essence the same as a double crochet five together but then worked in one stitch. So I'm going to yarn over because the first one's a standing stitch and then in that treble, like I said, just flip your work over if you're not sure that you're on the right stitch. Um, the first one is a standing stitch. Oh, I just lost the loop. This happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. Just again. In that stitch and then take off two loops. That was one. I'm going to do four more. Yarn over. That's two. Yarn over. And three. And four. And five. Six loops on your hook. Yarn over and take them all off. That's your first Double, five double crochet cluster, and this was a standing one. Now chain four. One, two, three, four. And now come to the next treble, and if you're not sure, you're going to skip three stitches and then the fourth one. That's the treble. So in the next treble, we do the same. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, and then take them all off. That was number two. And then again, chain four. One, two, three, four. And then come to the next treble, which will be uh, this stitch here. Right there. And at this where you're going to be working um, these five double crochet clusters in all your trebles and just flip your work over to make sure that you're on the right stitch if you're in doubt. So continue like this and then I'll just see you for the last treble. Almost to the other side. I have one treble left in that last treble. I just did this one, so that's chain four. One, two, three, four. And then come to the last treble. And then here I'm going to work another five double cluster. Two, three, four, five, and then take them all off in one go. You've now finished the row. Just do a chain one 
And this chain one is to secure this last bobble. Cut your yarn and pull through and then just really pull this nice and tight but that bobble doesn't go anywhere. And now we're ready to for the next row turn your work to have the right side facing. Row 21 have the right side facing and this row we're going to be working in the stitches from row 19 and also around the bobbles and we're going to be sure to stay in front of these chain spaces so I'm going to leave those. New color yarn on my hook and we start in the first stitch from row 19 with a standing double crochet. Yarn over in that first stitch there, a standing double. Now also work a double in the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to start the repeats. I'm going to work a front post single around these bobbles. Now this first one is a little tricky because just um, you, you've got that yarn tail there so I'm just going to kind of imagine there. I'm just going to hold that yarn tail so you can see what I'm doing. So I just scoop this stitch, grab the yarn, bring it forward and complete the single. The next one will be easier. Now you've got these three singles here. In the center one work three doubles. So here in the middle work three doubles and while doing so be sure to keep that chain space to the back. So that's one two and three doubles in that stitch. That's the repeat. I'm going to do that until you're to the other side. Next bubble gets, the next cluster here gets front post single and then three doubles in the center stitch. One, two, three. And repeat like this till you're to the other side. So I'll show you this last bubble again. Underneath just kind of scoop and complete the single. And everything in front of, staying in front of the chain spaces. So they're all here to the back. Come work like this and I'll see you when you're to the other side. Almost um, to the end here. You can see I've worked all the stitches and you're getting these nice floral buds here. Just work that front post single. Let me show you that one again. So scooping around the stitch, work the front post single. And then here this center stitch still needs three doubles. One, two, three, and the last cluster stitch here also needs the front post. And I'm again just holding on to that yarn tail. That's just to make it a little bit easier to work that stitch. There are five single crochets left, one double on each of those. One, two, three, four, and the last one here is five. Maybe five doubles on those last stitches. Leave your yarn attached, turn for the next row. Row 22, you have the wrong side facing. In this row we're going to work a single crochet on every stitch. So just chain one for the turn. And then starting in the first stitch, that's one single, two, 
three, and continue like this, four, five, until you're to the other side. So simply work a single in every stitch, and when you're to the other side, you can fasten off your work. Row 23, in this row we're going to work a half double on every stitch. So I'm just running over because the first one is of course a standing half double. And then continue and work a half double on every stitch. And when you get to the end of the row, you can fasten off your work. So this row is very similar to what we've done before. Row 24. On this row we're going to work a back post half double on every stitch. Yarn over and hold on to that loop. So then around the first post, and again this one is a little funny, but you've done this a few times before already. Back post half double, and then a back post on every stitch till you get to the other side. But you've done you've done this row before a few times. So back post half double, and then when you get to the end, you can fasten off your work. When you've completed the last row, this is what one part of your blanket looks like. Now all of these rows that you just did, you need to do, repeat them on the other side of the blanket as well, so you're extending both panels. So repeat this on the other side of the blanket, and when you've done that, you've completed this part. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon for the next part.